What's up with it? What up, y'all? Hey, hey. <laughs> So I guess couldn't wait to talk. We got another nigga voice. Okay, usually we have an intro and then we introduce the guest, but he's impatient. It couldn't wait. So this is my friend. What? What should I? I don't want to. Mm, what should I? Uh, you tell, tell him Cortez. Tell First of all, I'm about to tell you talking okay. to the mic. Oh, I'm in here. I'm in the game. I was getting my, my, my lyrics right. Oh, okay, okay. So this is next to my homie Cortez. Ooh, we met. Ooh. Tell how we met. No, I ain't gonna tell them how we met, but I'm talking about how long ago we met. Oh, okay, that was this year. Yeah, oh, the summer or something. Where somewhere? No, nah, it wasn't summer. It was close to it. Yeah, right before it. Yes, ending of summer. Ending of summer. But he's a really good friend. Um, it's one of them friends you can just talk to about anything. Um, very business minded. That's what I always appreciate about him. So he's gonna join us for this uh, episode right before Thanksgiving. Man, yep. Talk shit. How was your week though, Tam? My week. My week was okay. My last week in my job. I was about to say countdown time. My last full shit. week in my job. Man, I got senioritis so bad. I'm ready to get the fuck up out of there. Yeah, senioritis. That's when they grind a lot of old people. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> It's when you on your last year or the last oh, okay. and you don't feel like doing nothing. Yeah, you just like, I'm just ready to get the fuck ASAP. So Cortez is the same age as us. But and got an old ass soul. <laughs> he act old as hell. No. I mean, look how you holding the mic. <laughs> <laughs> it All right, ready. Popo. It ready. He also has a really good YouTube channel Um, for his, what's? Lookout look, Racing. Yeah, Lookout look Racing. Out so racing. it's, it's uh, videos about racing. Um, cars, oh. races, jack of all trades, drones, all that stuff. Editing videos. Okay, we gonna listen. Yeah, we we gonna get into. I just want to. I just want the preface. Why we gonna get into you? Pause. That nigga said, "We'll get into it." Okay. <laughs> Y'all already starting off. All right. God damn. Okay, so we told you that we had a song. Yeah. Okay. I got a song. Do you want to go first? Since or you want one of us to go first so we can show you how to do it? Oh, yeah. Let me see you. Okay. <laughs> see you. All right. Y'all ready? Mm-hmm. ready? To all the women with the flaws, know it's hard, my darling. You wonder why you're lonely and your man's not calling. You keep falling victim because you're insecure. Is that the way I had a love? Mm-mm. Ooh. And when I tell you that you're beautiful, you yeah, can't be sure. sure. Because he don't seem to want you back, and it got you asking. So all you is seeing what you lacking, not what you packing. Take it from a man that loves what you got. Y'all going to get this part right here. Yep. Uh, uh, crooked smile. Yep, that's okay. it. <laughs> I knew it. Okay. <laughs> what? Let me see. Let me see. You're going to be able to get mine. You're going to be able to get mine. Okay. Mine right here. <laughs> See, you here mine right, right here. here. <laughs> I got 40 whips, way too much in them. <laughs> I need me a queen. I need me a dime. Living this fast life, just show me a sign. <laughs> Niggas gotta keep reading the poem. <laughs> <laughs> I had to say it like that so you can make sure you don't just remember it keep, all the way. Keep going. I got keep 40 going. whips. You got 40 whips. Okay. Way too much in them. And he need a queen. He need him a dime. <laughs> now you changing lyrics. Man, that's what it said. It don't say he need a dime. Okay, I need me a dime. Living this fast life, just show me a sign. And I guess this, I'm a G. I'm a G. Huh? I don't know. Lil Quita, Trap Boy Freddy. <laughs> Rose, a born stunner. I'm, I'm guessing it's Rick, Rick Ross. Ross. Rick Ross? It's Rick Ross. Is it the one with Drake and uh, what's her name? No, I don't think Drake in here. <laughs> 50 when I'm shopping. Huh? I don't know. I don't what know. Song, what song is this? This is I'm about you, the boss, by Nicki Minaj, Future, and Rick Ross. Oh, oh. I was in. no! Cortez. I never really just learned his part. Oh, I mean, I Damn, why you ain't do Nicki's? 
We might have got Nikki's verse. Because I ain't want to come to the show every <laughs> one. I'm singing the Nikki song. <laughs> no. I'm going to do the Rose part. Okay. Well, that's that's one we don't really do. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nah, but it's good that you stumped yeah. us. Yeah. Because B is a damn uh, fucking mm-hmm. rap genius. No. Uh, clearly. <laughs> um, Let's see what you come up with. Let me see you make that pussy fart. Well, <laughs> the Good Lord. Make it shake like a salt shaker. Oh. Too hard. Oh, get I it remember. up. What? <laughs> oh, I thought it was shaking like a salt shaker. That ain't it. Uh, Yin Yang Twins. It's oh, okay. Get low. Uh-uh. That ain't it. Um, it's Yin Yang Twins. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Um, oh, shit. I'm going to do the chorus. Make that pussy fart. Yeah, let me see you make Well, is it uh, whistle while you twerk? <laughs> oh, whistle while you twerk. Yeah. Whistle while you twerk. <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh, oh, whistle while you twerk, twerk some. <laughs> so everybody do the song. Yeah. yeah. We on it. All right. <laughs> that was a, a fun little round. Stomped a little bit, but it's okay. Okay. Came back. Um, a hey, best friend. Ain't it a blessing? You are listening to another episode of Hear You Podcast. Podcast. This is Tan. This is B. We got Cortez in the building with us. You ready to go ahead and get started? Come on, Popo. I just thought that this is C. <laughs> oh, okay. You want to call you C? Yeah, yeah I'm C now. Oh, okay. We got C in the building. You yeah, ready to get started, C? Ready. All right. Hey, let's get it. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, y'all ready to get started in this week with the shits? I think we need to explain to him because obviously he don't listen to the show. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we do say this less. thing called a hundred rounds, right? I remember that. So I'm gonna say <laughs> I'm gonna say the title. I'm gonna say one thing that's associated to what we're about to talk about for that topic. Okay. Okay. We just gonna go around and you just say the first thing that comes to mind, and the first person to fumble, that's where we stop. It's like concentration. Just keep going. Yeah. But not. Keep. So y'all gonna go first, though, right? So yeah. 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 And also a rule, if your phone goes off oh. and we can hear it, you have to read your text message or answer it. Let me turn my phone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> don't say nothing. No, don't say nothing. <laughs> don't say nothing. Okay, so we're going to start off in this week with the shits. Let's do 100 rounds. T.I. B. Go away, F boy. Grand hustle. <laughs> First thing that come to your mind. I was trying to think of that. B.T. I was trying to think of that show. Guns. It was on VH1. Prison. <laughs> Atlanta. Tiny. Kids. Fuck. Son. Deja. Great father. Hey, new nigga. <laughs> oh, I ain't finna fumble. Hyman. Oh, I'm finna say that. Virgin. A uh, cool. <laughs> oh, that was his brand. Brand. Uh, fuck. Light skin. Iggy Azalea. Short hair. Tiny. <laughs> Short hair. Yeah, I already said tiny. She already, you said I did say tiny. Oh, you said tiny. Said tiny. Fuck. Can you, oh, yeah. So just fumble. Yeah. yeah. Fumble. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what, last week or the week before, we had kind of talked about um, we talked T.I. About teapot, yeah. Yeah, we talked about it with Teapot mm-hmm. about T.I. So Cortez, I'm, C, I'm sorry. Yeah. I know <laughs> you live up underneath a rock. So... <laughs> T.I. recently went on the podcast and was talking about how he checks his daughter's virginity every yeah. year. And he takes her to the doctor to make sure that her hymen is still intact. Okay. And so a lot of, there was a lot of uproar about it because everybody's like, how can you, you know, how can you be so controlling of a father to where you want to go and check your daughter's hymen and you're releasing all of her medical information for everybody to hear it. Yeah. So um, Jada. How, how old is she? She's 18. 18. She's grown. Oh, okay. But he's been doing it since she was 16, apparently. Right after her 16th okay, birthday. Years. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? Oh. He's been doing it for two years. You think that's okay? I don't know when it. I don't know if it's okay. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure he ain't the only one doing it. So mm-hmm. I want to know whatever, whoever else doing it, why y'all doing it, when you start, and when you going to stop. <laughs> <laughs> 
don't know. That's what you want to know? Yeah. If somebody got a reason, I'm just doing it to make sure that everything is all right. Good. That's, 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 what would you do? If I you had a daughter. Her, I'm, I'm, I would say, I would tell her all the rules. I would tell her, let her know what what the person is looking forward to, what you can, uh, what can happen to you. What uh, I'll let her know all the pros and cons about it. But if if she told if your daughter came to you and said she wanted to have sex or said she wasn't a virgin anymore, how would you react? I'd be like, man, I have to like right then I have to come up with a good thought. Like, damn, what the say? Something like that. <laughs> I don't know. I can't, ain't no congratulations. Uh, <laughs> it's some. I don't know what to say. I'm damn. Would you be, Would you be I, upset? I, nah, I'd be already knowing they was gonna do it anyway. Mm, that's smart. I, I mean, know people going to do it. A dog will do it when it come out. So I know a human going to do it. A what? A dog. Anybody. Everything <laughs> have sex. Everything ready to hit something. <laughs> Not everything ready to hit everything something. Everything ready to hit. What What don't want none? <laughs> what human, I mean, what species don't want none? I don't know about it. Um, to be honest, I don't think the other species have sex for pleasure, though. You don't know what they do. <laughs> I feel like dogs probably have sex for pleasure i mean they said dolphins do but what well, so like mammals maybe that makes sense pro- everything do <laughs> everything ain't just having sex saying that oh yeah i'm ready to make a kid that ain't what it's saying i don't know i ain't never talked to an ant before so i can't really tell you <laughs> <laughs> i mean it, it is true everything does procreate so but um so ti went on jada pinkett has red table talk he went on red table talk this week and bless you and basically was i wouldn't say he was he was doubling down on what he had said previously because jada was just like okay well you know how do you think that your daughter felt now that you said that yeah. and it, it, there was even a rumor that came out that um Pornhub had offered a million dollars for her virginity. For her virginity. But it wasn't true. It was a rumor. Oh. But I'm just like, imagine how many people probably were in her DMs like, I'll pop that cherry. Yeah. I'll break that hymen. Mm-hmm. Next time your daddy checked the hymen, gonna be gone playing with me. Yeah. You know, there's probably all kind of freaky weird niggas saying all kind of shit to the girl. And he opened girl. that floodgate. Because nobody knew. Oh. Yeah. Nobody, nobody was worried knew. about nobody Deja. Knew. Nobody was worried about her virginity. You're gonna be worried about it for about a week. It's been longer than a week. Yeah, it's been longer than a week. Oh, it's been over a week already. Yeah, it's been Two longer weeks. than. Yeah, I don't even think she's on social media anymore. Worried about what she doing for that long. Don't nobody worry about nobody that long, especially not about no just virginity. That's going on. It's going to last for me. But see, it, the the spotlight went from it being about Deja's virginity to it more so T. being T. about Ti and mm-hmm. what he said, and the fact that he saw nothing wrong with what it was that he said. You know he gonna come up with an excuse for what he said. Oh yeah, he said it on uh, Red Table Talk. So basically, was saying that um, what he said was misconstrued, and he was like, "I was never in the room. I never said I was in the exam room with her." That doesn't take away what you're, you're there still making doing. her go to go. Whether you're in the room or not, that doesn't take away the fact that you're there. So you think that she should? We most ain't no eighteen year old go go on their own by themselves. Probably. Yeah, they will. Or seventeen year old. Or I was. I went what by my. I went by myself. But I went for a different reason. I went because I was having sex. She's not having sex. Yeah. So what's she going for? Oh, he just. He, he just took checking. her. Yeah, he dragged her ass and then oh, had her so sign the. Uh, dragged her ass. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> had her sign the damn paperwork for the doctor to give the results to him. No, she does because right oh, after that, do? she got on Twitter and started liking a bunch of like um, tweets people were posting talking about how controlling her daddy was. Oh, so Deja clearly has a problem with it, oh, right? And so then on Red Table Talk, uh, Ti proceeded to say that because they there was a comparison, there was a video that came out of Ti talking to his son. His son is like fifteen, and his son was telling him that he's had sex. And T.I. basically dapped the young nigga up like, oh, shit, king fucking, y'all. Mm-hmm. King fucking. So, yeah. so people are like, so why do you have that attitude towards your son? Mm-hmm. And then oh. at your daughter, you want to take her to go get her hymen checked. Mm-hmm. This nigga proceeds to say that if his son goes out and gets a girl pregnant, it doesn't disturb his household. But if his daughter gets pregnant, that disturbs his household. 
And that's a, adding another person into his household. That kind of that that, that, is what happened. No. Your son getting someone you pregnant, it, it's a, it affects both of them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's going to affect both of them, but... You, you saying because baby don't have to live there. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? The baby ain't living there. What are you talking about? I think, I think that's part of the problem right there. I agree. That, 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 that's that, what he's talking about. And he's an idiot. Oh, well, that's what he was and talking about. And you agree. I mean, if so I want to call you, don't, I don't want to be uh, you. Okay, you don't don't say stuff like that. The thing is that that's problematic. Very much so. And it, it's it's so taken. He supposed to move the, the uh, He's supposed to tell his son man. to his son and daughter that you should wear a condom yeah. and practice safe sex. That you should wait. <laughs> I mean, if you, I mean, well, not even wait, but just how how like how important sex is. Like that's not like. You could really mess up your life if you had sex with the wrong person, yeah. even just one time. Yeah. So just how critical it is. Okay, then now I'm going to say then it's a lot of people need to have a sex talk with their kids, and at least he is able to talk to the kids. Is he talking the to them? I don't know. He, by telling Deja like, to stay a virgin? That's not the sex talk. That's, that's part of, nah, it ain't, but that's good <laughs> for her. She don't need to be. It she ain't <laughs> time yet. How, she's 18. So you saying it's time? I'm saying it's time whenever she decides it's time. But you shouldn't have somebody telling you to stay a virgin. This the uh, last year, man. This probably was the last year. <laughs> Is she gonna be a virgin? I, I mean, yeah. He was trying to make sure that while she living with him, hey, she don't live with him. She live with her mama. He paying it. A, I don't know what his excuse all the way is. The thing is, though, we equate virginity with purity, and that if you are not a virgin, that you are undeserving of being of being respected, especially with girls. Like mm -hmm. a girl tells you she lost her virginity, automatically you think she fast, you think she loose, she a hoe, and all this other stuff. And we don't put those same standards on boys. When a boy loses his virginity, oh, now he the man. But when a girl does, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's this double standard that we all do. Yeah. So. They've been doing that. We can't change it now. <laughs> <laughs> so just let this double standard just keep going. It's going. I mean, you, well, you, well, let's talk about the ways to stop it. You can't. <laughs> uh, we can stop it by realizing that you need to have the same sex talk with your son that you do oh, with your daughter. Okay. Well, that's the point. Then. <laughs> <laughs> we can start there. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, I think, but see, the girl can have a baby. I don't know, man. We, Everybody need to be talked to about sex. Yes, what I'm saying. Man. But we also put, like, a girl getting pregnant, we put too much of that on her. Like, it's not both of y'all. That's what. Like, granted, we have the final say over our lives, but, like, what, like the, sh the decision wasn't made by herself. Mm -hmm. But she's going to always get the blame for getting pregnant. Yep. Right. She need to know that, that. I mean, that either way, no matter if he do talk to that boy or not about it, regardless of what information he got, if she get pregnant, she going to be over there with him still. I mean, or wherever, wherever she at, she going to be pregnant. So he just trying, like, just say a dude come in and hit old girl and get her pregnant. He going to be thinking, dang, he didn't knock my little daughter up. Damn. And then... Now I'm finna have to raise the baby. I don't even know this dude. He finna be doing whatever he want. I don't know if he finna keep doing what he want to do or is he finna be trying to move in over here. But I don't know if I, I don't know. I don't know. T.I. has a phrase. She's going to run into somebody just like him. I agree. That's the issue. Oh, yeah. That could be true too. She don't want to, he don't, she don't, he doesn't want any, anyone like him around her. But I didn't, I just, I. That's what she going to find. I don't no. Yes. That's what you, they say usually uh you like your dad like mm -hmm. men that are similar to your daddy. Yeah, that's what they say. But she seems like she got some good sense. At least he, he a business mind. She might just find a good business mind type man. Who cheats? I mean, Mo, yeah. yeah. Who's a narcissist, a misogynist. And wants hey, to go to to get your hymen checked. Got some kind of problem. So she if she <laughs> wanna the kind of problem she might want to choose. <laughs> she might like that kind of she might she already know how to deal with it she been doing it for years now so she can do that's easier to deal with i mean no you, you, know, you know what you say some of the most problematic fucked up shit but it actually kind of make a little it bit of sense. <laughs> <laughs> the way you say that makes a little sense but i don't like it it really does make like she damn she's she like i know how to handle them narcissist motherfuckers <laughs> My daddy one. I've been around him all my life. I know how to handle him, kids. 
So that's easy. I, uh, I don't. I don't know how to handle them lying motherfuckers. They coming up with new lies every day. So, you know. Let me beat the narcissist. Yeah, yeah I'm going to take the narcissist okay. with the business mind. Ugh. And they cheat every night. All of them cheat, I guess. So, I'm going to pick the one that's a narcissist and cheat. <laughs> at, a, at least I can handle that. I can't handle the lie and the cheat and the steal. Damn. So. so. You Damn, that, that's the up. that's the categories of niggas lie, che- cheat, and that's lie, steal. Cheat, steal, no job. With I, the, you want the broke liar or the narcissist businessman cheater? <laughs> Damn, but they both cheating. Both of them cheating. You gonna get cheated? No matter which one you pick, they cheating. So which one? Can I be faithful? Take the, man, we had a conversation Go to before. The club. And go look for the faithful ones. <laughs> look at them rings. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know then. The hell he ain't here for. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was cheating. That's cheating to y'all. So yeah, they all of them. Don't nobody want to sit at home all day. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga here, boy. Well, Anything else with T.I.? Yeah, it's about T.I. <laughs> T.I., at least he talking to his kids about sex. <sighs> Most parents ain't even bumping about it. They just going out there doing it and having kids. So that's, I would rather all the business be out there. You 18, you made it this far, you still a virgin. Then you 14 fucking having a baby, catching diseases. I'm taking care of the baby. You ain't got no job. Don't know how to live life on Section 8. All that, day. that is too extreme. extreme. That's better than I'd rather you be in a position where you got a better mind and still got your virginity. All right. That's better. Okay. So you checking the hymen or no? No, nah, we're going to have good talks. Man, I'm telling you, just don't do it yet. It's better if you don't do it yet. I ain't checking the I'm going to tell you, you go get your Hamlet thing. Checked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Hamlet. Hamlet. It's an omelet. Get your Hamlet, Hamlet check, girl. <laughs> Make sure they ain't flipped it too soon. <laughs> Nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't need you scrambled all up. <laughs> Really? <laughs> I'll get you right. <laughs> he told me you scrambled all up. Get your omelets checked. Oh my gosh. All right. So hopefully this is the last time that we have to talk about T.I. Yeah. Because honestly I and truthfully, so. I'm really sick of it. At 19. <sighs> Apparently Deja followed him and Tiny. He's like, she probably... <laughs> Deja's yeah, sick of... And then her mama posted on Instagram talking about, who the narcissism. Mm-hmm. She probably tired of his shit too. Hell yeah, the mama probably like, you know what? I'm really tired of this fuck nigga here. Child support over. I can say what the fuck I want to say now. <laughs> Get I ain't getting child you. support no more. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna see. Apparently, there's like a part two that's coming out also that's gonna have um, Tiny. Tiny and Ti Standing talking about man. yeah they relationship because T- uh, Tiny went with him to the red table talk with Jada and everybody was like, what the fuck she doing there? Why isn't Deja her mama there? And then Willow wasn't there. Oh, because Willow would have went in on T.I. Oh, what? As she fucking should have. Yeah, it's best she set that one out. Yeah, man. See, I ain't. So Deja got another mama. Deja yeah, has Deja's, a, a mother. Yeah, Deja's mom is not, not Tiny. Mom. <laughs> oh, okay. Tiny's your stepmother. Okay, I need to see what Deja, what Deja mama look like. Oh, actually, well, funny that you ask. I have it pulled up right here. She light skin, fair skin too? Yeah. Yeah, all right. T.I. got a type. <laughs> Which one? Deja with the red hair. Okay. All right, before you say something. Look- <laughs> All right, now. She, she only 18. Oh, Deja with the red hair. Okay, <laughs> now I'm back in the. Okay. That's good. <laughs> you know what? That's, That's good. good. That's good. Oh, yeah, mama cute. Yeah. yeah. She real pretty. She working with some. Oh, how you know that? And all you seeing is her yeah, I, shoulders. That shoulder look good. <sighs> I I see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, so let's go ahead and go on over to our next topic. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do a hundred rounds. Omarion. Oh, <laughs> Touch. <laughs> can, can you do a hundred rounds, please? <laughs> 
I said touch. The word is Omarion. What's the first thing coming to your mind? Oh, Marion. Yeah, Omarion. <laughs> Oh, we just did. You heard all these goddamn sound. No, you're doing these sound effects. Then I'm B2K. <laughs> Icebox. Damn. April. Dancing. Orion. Fizz. Sliding. Janae. Uh, stepping. Braids. Mega. Tron. <laughs> oh, no, that don't go, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, that don't go. She just saying anything. Yeah. Yeah, that, that means you fumble. Kind of, but not really. I said something. Tron. The little boy name is Mega. Who is Tron, though? I said, I said Megatron. We can... Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll stop there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You look so confused. All right, Popo. Megatron is. I ain't know you can go Megatron like that and still not fumble. I mean, I said something. <laughs> he wants you to admit that you fumbled so okay, bad. I fumbled. Right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Popo, right? You the papa. Me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so Omarion, like you like you said, he from B2K. Yeah. Um, his ex bandmate, Lil Fizz, is now publicly dating his baby mama. Hey, new nigga. Omarion hasn't said nothing for the longest. These rumors been going around for a minute. How long they been doing that? The rumors started what, like maybe in the summer? About him and Fizz. About him and April. Uh, April and <laughs> so him and April. Mm-hmm. Uh yeah, April and Fizz. How long they they still cool? Well, Omarion <laughs> broke his silence and did a little small interview where he was saying that um, him and Fizz, like, he doesn't have no beef. Like, they can do whatever they want to do. He was just like, I just don't want to be a part of y'all narrative. Mm-hmm. So y'all be together. Go be happy. But don't think that I have to be a part of that. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't have to be a part of y'all's story. Go be in love. Pretty much. That's Which simple. I'm like, damn. I wish I could be that unbothered. Yeah, man, it is possible. I, I would say... You know, like he now that now that you saying that they doing it like that, he probably was hidden before, but went during the time. You think so, man? What they just started? Oh, now he cute. Now she fine. <laughs> what? Talking about Fizz and April been, been fucking around. Other. They been looking at each other, and he probably been hit. Well, I don't think. It will. I mean. We don't know. Derek. We'll never get the timeline. The, what she said was that they were always best friends, and they just kind of got closer and closer together. That was always the narrative that they were just really good friends. I mean, yeah. Uh, <laughs> them two started splitting up, and them two start getting closer. That's, I mean, that's what it sounds like. That seemed like a more relatable timeline than anything else. Because it ain't like they could be cool and have time for, he could, Fizz could have time for his partner and his girl. So he had and to pick one. Be, yeah. And <clears throat> it ain't like, hey, we finna go hoop, my nigga, and then I'm finna... Like, nah. <laughs> not until April. You wanna come with us? Okay. Yeah, yeah, you can't go. Why can't she go? Um, nah, they can't. Yeah, she can't go no more. <laughs> Even if they was cool, I wouldn't even. I look over there on the sideline. I wouldn't know who she who hooting for. Me, <laughs> me or him? <laughs> <laughs> go, Amaris. <laughs> All she gotta do is say, "Go." Put her hands out. I'm thinking, yeah, I still got that. <laughs> So what happened with them? So, of course, you know, everybody's talking about there's been all these memes about how unbothered Omarion really is about the whole situation. And what was actually announced today, which today is actually Fizz's birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> so April posted a picture of her with Fizz kissing her on the cheek. Mm-hmm. First, let me say happy, happy born day to one of my favorite human beings on this planet. I'm blessed to have you in my life. There are very few genuine and real people who actually are who they say they are. You're a straight shooter, and that's what I adore about you. Always sticking to your words with actions. You deserve everything and more in this lifetime. I got you always, no matter what, my G. Love you much. Now time to turn up, old folk style, LMAO. Shortly after that, Omarion announced that the Millennium Tour is going back on. Hey. And B2K is not involved. Well, Omarion is going by himself on tour. Hmm. And leaving April, Fizz, mm-hmm. J-Bug, and Rasby mm-hmm. behind. He probably started saying April he at the concert. The power to do that. I yeah, mean, he did, it. he did it. The flyer got released today. It's got the Yin Yang Twins, Lloyd, Sammy, Pretty Ricky, and Soldier Boy. Oh, man. They got and Bow Wow. And Bow Wow. Bow-Wow. Okay, so at first when I saw it, I was like, man, I'm going to go to another, another Millennium Tour if it's the same thing. But the lineup kind of fire. 
Because I said the last line, you know what? I said Bow Wow should have been here and Soldier Boy. I said, yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing Soldier Boy. I can't even lie. Yeah, I want to see Soldier. Yeah, I want to yeah. see. I want to see Young Soul, Big Draco. I know he ain't gonna oh. let. <laughs> he ain't gonna let the time. Pa pa pa! Shot that nigga. <laughs> I feel like he's not going to make it all the way to the end of the tour. Hell no. That lineup going to change. Hell yeah. Give it about f- how, five dates. How long it got? How long until when the date? I mean, it's usually like 50 <laughs> cities or whatever. I don't know. It's, yeah. It's, it's not certain until 2020, though. So, Omarion posted the flyer <clears throat> and said, it's about that time. Mind you, he posted this flyer on Fizz's birthday. Mm. It's about that time. What a blessing to commemorate this accomplishment by headlining the Millennium Tour 2020. 20 years in music 2020. Mm. Well. And so apparently the rest of um, B2K didn't know Ooh. that they weren't going to be invited. Oh, they didn't know? Yeah, no. Nah. So they found out then mm-hmm. on Fizz's birthday. Yeah. I heard Raz B didn't want to do like didn't want to do anything no more. Yeah, J Boog went oh, J- on. J- 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 Boog, yeah, J Boog went on live and uh, basically told Omarion, "Congrats on the tour." And also said that Fizz ruined ninety nine percent of everything. <laughs> Whoa, damn! And then he posted the flyer and said, "Congrats to my guys on this tour. Get to the bag. I'll be at the L.A. show." He tagged Omarion, Spectacular, Pleasure, Baby Blue, and Sammy. Who did that? Uh, J. Boog, one of the members of B2K. Okay. It's your time to see. It's your time. I want to see this show you about to put on. At Bow Wow, welcome back like old times. Happy for you. Lock in and give these people what they deserve. In the words of Boogie, let's kill these motherfuckers. Who is Boogie? I have no clue. Oh, Maybe okay. him. Maybe some. Spectacular got on the post and said, we have more space in Pretty Ricky. One more member won't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. J Boog responded to Spectacular and said, I'm there, nigga. Tell me where to sign. We can make a deal right now. So, so J Boog wants to go on tour. Yeah, J Boog wants to go on tour, but he blaming damn uh, Fizz. Fizz. And then J Boog posted a video of him in the uh, in the gym doing. <laughs> that nigga, <laughs> that nigga up feeling like this. That nigga should have been in the gym. <laughs> that nigga, he was he was out of breath and and lazy looking at the concert. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. And then nigga the the show, he's like, "Ooh, I'm tired for real." I'm like, "Nigga, we know." <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, I would go. A little petty. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know what's petty though, because he ain't been like acting petty. I want to know. I it. think it's petty as fuck for him to announce a tour on Lil Fizz's birthday. Well, I mean, they probably, you know, that just a, that was just a change of subject. Mm. See, it was at the right time to me, because you see how we was talking about, oh, they talking him and his ex girl talking, and the everybody else in the world, they was probably like, oh my god, they talking, they right? Talking. Oh yeah, that was. Boom, tour change the subject. We we let's talk about this tour that ain't going on. Ooh, they ain't going on that tour. Yeah, let's talk about that. They don't want to talk about that. That changed up. We ain't talking about feeds and he hitting it. He's been hitting it. That's cool. But the tour, how long the tour last? Mm. Last time they were on tour for a few months. They yeah. ain't gonna be getting money. Yep, but money so- over. <laughs> money over what what the hell is that i don't know that was something <laughs> <laughs> but you know what i can see i can kind of understand it though because they have so many issues with uh uh what's J- not jay book Rasby quitting and not quitting and, and yep. fighting and stuff like if he can go on a tour and not fight with nobody and, and everybody else because i don't think pretty ricky had them issues yeah, if they did is, is all of them pretty ricky gonna come i think they, they were, were all there, there last time and i i mean i don't remember hearing anything I don't remember anything about them on the concert, but I definitely heard or and seen Raz B um, leave the tour and come back on the tour several times. Oh yeah, it's gonna be jump. Is it that? That's in Dallas when it's coming to they Dallas. Prob- they probably are gonna come to Dallas. Yeah, they came to Dallas last time. I'm going to that one this time. <laughs> <laughs> Lie again. I am gonna go. Make sure you get my ticket. I'm gonna be in that. <laughs> Hey, five in the morning. <laughs> I'm up talking. Dad and yeah, yeah. Hey, I have a question. So horny. You don't know the words. I have a question. Why do you always ask me to buy your ticket? Uh, something be wrong with my phone. <laughs> <laughs> so my then, deb- the way my debit card set up. No, he asked me to buy his ticket, watching. and he'll give it to me uh-huh. right then and there. But he asked me to buy his ticket. You got no debit card? Yeah, I got credit card. 
graduated only. Okay. I just always wondered that. Because it ain't like you broke. You Because nah, I be forgetting, man. Shit be too much shit be going on all day. I'll think of something. Somebody will call me. And then if they talking about something I like, I'll sure forget. And then it won't come to mind. I, then you'll text back that day. We going, friend. <laughs> That's how she be sounding. No damn ticket. <laughs> <laughs> you had a ticket that went up. Ah, this bitch, sixty more dollars. Man, I'm really paying for this shit. Man, you should have got me one. You got yours for the twenty. So that's how I be doing. Shit, them damn Millennium tickets ain't finna be 20. So not. It was 60? No, last time we paid like over $100 a piece. Yeah. Ooh. To do Rick, 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 Rick. Yeah. <laughs> damn. And I got me a shirt too. Yeah. Ching- oh, that ain't nothing about Chingy. Uh-huh, I guess. Sure. No, Chingy ain't there. And neither is Lloyd. Was Lloyd on the lineup? Oh, man. I need to sing. Mario that. was. Oh, yeah. Mario wasn't on the lineup for the new tour. But you know what? I think that's a good lineup. That's a pretty good lineup. with. Some- yeah, Lloyd there. Lord, oh. I guess Sammy took uh, Mar- uh, Mario. Where they gonna be at? What's shit, it? Verizon. Yeah, Grand Prairie. Shit out there, song. What song? <laughs> that one Lloyd sing. Uh, Lloyd ain't coming. I thought you just said he. Nah, was- he was there. Oh wait, Lloyd is. I'm sorry. Dang. I'm thinking about Mario. Mario. They need to. You, they need to bring Shanti too. Then <laughs> call Shanti out like. Uh, Shanti, she make a move now. She don't, she ain't got to sing no more. Well, okay. Shanti fine as fuck. I, I, yes. I, yeah, she still look like the photo cover. Uh, man, uh, Shanti fine. You said what? Chapter one. Oh, Two. <laughs> whatever it was called. She was fine. Uh, Shanti look good as hell. Still look the same. She with anybody? I, I, yeah, if know. she is, we wouldn't know. Cover, huh? She probably, I feel like Ashanti probably got a nigga, but he probably like super rich and overseas. Mm-hmm. Super rich. Mm-hmm. Ashanti ain't staying in shape like that for just nothing. She ain't got nothing else to do. <laughs> <laughs> ain't got nothing else to do but go in the gym. Shit, I need to have that kind okay. of boredom. I need to be not to worry about shit but working out. Yeah, you got to get to the money. And then once you have all your bills paid, you in front of your bills. Then you can not- then you can say, "Well, shit, the bills are already paid. I can put my mind on something else." What? That's how they do it. Mm. That's why rich people be they already know their bills paid. So they, oh, I'll just get up and jog in the morning. <laughs> yeah, we don't have that luxury just yet. Meanwhile, out. we be trying to avoid I'm waking up. Oh, yeah. this damn traffic! <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck? Is- <laughs> <laughs> that's true that's big facts we wake up in the morning fuck I gotta go to this goddamn job be, be tired before you even get there be like how bad would my life be if they fired me and they jogging <laughs> before they get there I'm with they dog yeah. dog running fast too smiling everybody happy mm. <laughs> must be nice they bills paid must be nice. I guess Amari, I'm finna get them bills paid uh, on yeah, this damn on tour. tour yeah. He like, you know what? I still, I still got a twelve pack. <laughs> <laughs> but Fizz still gonna get a cut. Don't get it fucked okay. up. He gonna get a cut from April. Okay, I see. I see what you did there. He gonna get a cut. I thought April said she don't get child support. Shit, you oh, really they believe got that? A baby? They got no. <laughs> Amari and April. April. They got. Yeah. They, they got, got two, two kids. kids. Uh so he. Ah, oh, so that's why I said the little boy name was Mega. Oh, that's who Mega was. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were talking about Charmin Mega Roll. <laughs> All right. Oh, so it changes things now that they got yeah, kids. Now they got kids. I'm trying to picture Omarion kids with this. Yeah, like when you with my daddy. <laughs> well, you cool. Like, yeah, that's a messed up. Damn, yeah. what if he the kid's like Godfather? Yeah, mm-hmm. he was like there during the pregnancy and all that. Shit. Brought stuff to the baby shower. Ooh, yeah. okay. Make sure you good. <laughs> that nigga ever leave? I'm going to hold you down, April. Both nah. of us going to take care of you. <laughs> 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 Shit, I'm trying to have it. What? Where that set up okay. at? Need that. Yeah, you got to holler at, what's her name? April. Deja April. The who? There's your mama. We a holiday Deja. Oh, that ain't- <laughs> <laughs> like, where did that even come from? That damn I thought C. That was, I thought that was a uh, Ti baby mama daughter. I got them mixed up. Definitely did. Boy, this, this, this nigga here else, under. Man, I'm finna be women some hell, man. You see all these women and men, they just man. What they doing? 
whatever they want. <laughs> you do when you got when you live a life, you do got action at that at some point. So Fizz is wrong for fucking with April. Man, he could do whatever he want. But <laughs> it just seemed like some whole ass shit. But he still got the power to do whatever he want. The girl got the power to do whatever she want. They doing whatever they want. Omarion said, I understand that y'all doing whatever y'all want. That's cool. I'm finna go do whatever I want, which is, I don't want to invite y'all to this tour. <laughs> That's what I don't want to do. Yeah, I don't want to do that. And I got the power to do whatever I want, and y'all do what y'all want. It's not like a plan. I mean, as long as everybody else is in agreement. They happy. Do it. They ain't fault. I mean, that's a good point Not that we know that of. That we know of, yeah. Yeah. Who do you thing? think will win? Fizz or Omarion? Omarion? I need to see. Fizz, who, who else was uh, practicing? Who was that practicing? <laughs> Neither that one. That was J-Bug. Oh, oh, that was J-Bug. <laughs> yeah. ah. That was J-Bug that was in the gym. <laughs> I think, who else I think, I think uh, Omarion will win. Yeah. Well, I got to go back with Omarion because he, he keeping in shape with all mm-hmm. the moves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I may have to, too. Some niggas be sitting back smoking buns and shit all day. <laughs> see, Omarion, he... Might hit a blunt and do a, a, a back spin walk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he said he, he, do, he hit a blunt <laughs> and heart rate back going? Yeah. He going to be in shape longer. Fizz definitely look like he smoked blunts. He smoke, he look like he smoke uh, backwards. Girl, yeah. Yeah, he out His lips dark. <laughs> About four or five punches. He gonna... What's up? Hold on, bro. Nah, it ain't got to be like that. Hey, bro, get him. <laughs> Hey, bro. Get your get baby you, daddy. Get your nigga. Get, get, your, get nigga. your nigga. Get your baby daddy. I'm about to hurt him. I don't want to hurt him. <laughs> trying to catch his breath. Her, I ain't trying to go that far, bro. I'm telling you, bro. You said everything was good. <laughs> go out there and get walked like a damn dog. <laughs> Daddy, no. <laughs> Don't daddy, hurt him. Stop. Daddy, stop hurting my other daddy. <laughs> he just bought us toys. <laughs> he buy me candy. He just loves SeaWorld. <laughs> <laughs> he take us places. He has time for us. <laughs> He's with us more. Stop. <laughs> he is with him now. I haven't been saying what your ex is sounded like. Let, let, let's go. Okay. Where we going? He's like a little Mexican girl. No. <laughs> how you just, how you just pick that voice for them kids? <laughs> them two black kids. Oh, they they, they both boys. Not nah, one's a girl, one's a boy, and they black though. Yeah, black boys, girl. I don't know. They they don't look. Daddy, no. <laughs> no, daddy. <laughs> I don't know how they keep saying. Clearly, because you didn't even know their name. Okay, mm-hmm. didn't even know they, they what existed. What kind of name they got? His name Mega. Yeah, yeah Mega and something. Mm. Yeah, Mega got a, another type of voice. <laughs> I ain't gonna let Mega have no. How Mega voice sound? How old is he? Ooh, I I probably say they ain't no more than about five, six, six. Uh, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> he ain't got no voice yet. The fuck is wrong he, with he you? He ain't got no voice yet. He ain't got no voice. All right. <laughs> What's next? Okay. So let's go ahead and go on over to our last topic. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's see here. There's some more shooting. 100 shots. Yeah, we got to do another 100, 100 rounds. rounds. <laughs> that sounds more like it. Getting it loaded. Okay. So let's go ahead and do, um, let's see here. You hear her, but she got a little bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't want to talk about R. Kelly. Let's just skip him. But let's do 100 rounds Tory Lanez. <laughs> Did you hear the topic this time? Tory Lanez. Bald. Man, I don't know nothing about Tory Lanez. Uh, what's that song he got? This one. I don't know nothing about Tory Lanez. Damn, nothing? I just know he got a song with somebody in their jam. What they be saying? He do what he sing with him. I might know that song. You probably do. You probably do. All right, so that was the end. I don't yeah, know. we just gonna fumble. Now you fumbled. Yeah, yeah you yeah, fumbled hard. When I fumbled. You gotta read all your text messages in your phone. In this nigga. What is half price on that Samsung 75 <laughs> or 80 inch TV? <laughs> I got someone that might want to buy one. <laughs> Google that. Maybe we should start doing that. You fumble, you gotta read the yeah. messages. That's not really the rule. You fumble with that. Yeah, I just yeah. made that up. I was but, just going with 
Okay. <laughs> Somebody want a TV for half. I don't know why. I want one for half. <laughs> Shit, me too, hell. I'm going to let you know when they come through. <laughs> <laughs> half price. Yeah, yeah, I want one. So, uh, Tory Lanez, he recently sat down with Joe Budden on his show called The Pull Up. And they're... He kind of started a topic that started a little bit of debate on the internet. Mm -hmm. So basically, Tori was saying that if he meets a girl and she asks for him to buy her a bag, Mm -hmm. he's going to ask her, can you buy it yourself? Mm -hmm. And if you can't buy it yourself, he don't want to fuck with you. Okay, I see the uh, point in that. So what's the point in that? From a man's point of view. Okay, let me see. Uh, (laughs) You know you you fucked up right. Yeah, I know. uh, But see, it's some... uh, it's some um that's like some credit card using type uh deals. I don't know. It, I guess you need to be able to afford what you want or have a purpose of affording what you want, I guess. I I don't know why. I, I at first when he said it, I kind of felt him, but cuz it reminded me of some credit card type deal, but I don't know, man. If you can't afford it, I don't know what he said if she can't buy it, if she can't buy it, he don't want... Well, if she can't buy no bag, I don't want her. For real? Well, I got... I mean, she... How much is the bag? He talking about like a Gucci bag. Yeah. So you looking at probably like a cool between three and 5000 So I'm thinking in my mind, I'm Tory Lanez, I got millions, and here go this girl... Who can't even afford a three thousand dollar bag? And she want to be with me, I guess, some kind of way or. Whatever. But Tori wants something from her too. Do he want? Is it worth three to five thousand that you want, Tori Lane? Or, or no, you don't need to be spending three to five thousand on that. So is it worth three to five thousand, Tori? That's what should be going on in Tori mind. So I guess he's saying that if you can't even buy one, then the answer is no. Um, that's cool, but. That same logic. Okay. Is he gonna ask her for something? Thank you. He he's not. No, he ain't gonna ask. Her and why is he not? She can still surprise him, even though he ain't got to ask. A her. lot of niggas ask for cooked meals, and they can't even cook themselves. A lot of them just pay a chef too. Not a lot of them. Nah, <laughs> these niggas ain't the buying no niggas. shit. I thought they were buying chefs. And shit. <laughs> not a lot of these niggas. Well, it might well it is. I thought everybody. Like I feel like in that. relationship, there, there's always going to be something that the other person can't necessarily do for themselves. Yeah. So whether it's like of a monetary value mm-hmm. or if it's like just some some regular just everyday chore. Mm-hmm. Shit, I get a flat. The nigga that I'm with, I'm expect for you to go ahead and fix that. Yeah. I can't fix my own flat. Okay, yeah. So, what's up with that logic? You can't fix your own flat. I don't need to be with yeah, you. Yeah, y'all, you can't. Some women out here, they say they can't be with a nigga that can't fix a flat. Well, I guess there's some rules to it. I don't know. There's <laughs> some rules to it. You can call AAA. It's a way. <laughs> but you here. Yeah, if I'm nerd, yeah, I'll do it too. I just feel like. Well, that, bag, that bag ain't doing nothing for that girl. And, and, and I'm, I'm imagining people that he just met trying to get a bag. From him, yeah, I ain't not somebody imagine. he been fucking with. Yeah, if y'all been fucking two months, go ahead, bag to be. But the thing is, that he, when he when he <laughs> said bag to when bitch. he looked at her, he he wanted assessing her financial uh ability. Nah. He saw something he liked, and he yeah, went after it. He like it. He just hoping that it don't cost a bag. No, I'm so, what I'm saying. You see something you like? You, I mean, yeah, he is. What, what I say is gonna make me sound like a gold digger, but he obviously likes something about her. Yeah. So, it, you didn't ask for no other qualifications when you came up to her. You saw something that you like and you went after it. So, you saying he just needed to go on buy the bag. I mean, shit, if he's a millionaire, yeah, he could buy the bag, put this, write this shit up on his... I feel like Tori has bought several bags. Yeah, he yeah. bought several bags. Get the ones do, that can deserve it. And he done probably bought more than bags. The, yeah. Nigga, you done probably bought a furniture. Hey, tuition. <laughs> the nigga said ass. Cars. You <laughs> you done probably bought way more than just a bag. Yeah. So don't get on don't get on TV or whatever try now and and try to be flexing so real hard. Wanted him to say, yeah, bitch, come up to me, ask for a bag. I'm gonna get the bag. No, I what I expected for him to say, if I'm with somebody and she asks for a bag, I'll get it. Yep. I'm not talking about buying bags for everybody, but like I just feel like. <sighs> You know all them niggas like that too. Anyway, that's what he meant. He meant, it, but he would guarantee that if he millionaire status, he hitting a girl, he ain't hitting for free. 
So she exactly. getting something out of it. Exactly. So he got to be talking about the ones that he ain't hitting. That's what I would be thinking. Nah, because I can see Tori, even hitting. after having sex with a girl, being like, well, can can you afford this? Yeah. That's not a part of your lifestyle. So why why do you expect for me to afford that for you mm-hmm. or pay that for you? I'm like, what? She going to have to ask, well, what else am I getting? Shit. <laughs> What else? I ain't getting this bag. She need to be getting something. Some sunglasses. <laughs> some... Get some good glasses. I definitely. <laughs> I if nigga did that, I'd definitely be stealing from him. Bruh, I'm, well, I see, rob him. I, I, little that's by what little. They be doing. That's yeah, what they rob be doing. that nigga. See? That's yeah. what he's saying. If she can't buy her own steal. bag, steal it. She gonna yeah. be trying to steal my shit. <laughs> I need her with her own money. That's why that's why you need to that's why you need to get get my bag. Get my bag. So you can load the It's gonna be the entire way. Either you get my bag or you're gonna be looking for something for the next five years. Like, a Rolex. I know I know I had a watch in here now, somewhere. God damn, where did well, my damn Toronto chain bag, go? But you know there's some of them that'll get that bag and then still do what you're talking about. Yeah. Like, but but that, that's the type that's the type the person he chose though. Yep. That comes down to choices it, and yeah. decision making. Well, he ain't trying to So you don't think that he a, a person that's millionaire status don't deserve to be able to talk to somebody thousand or status, dude, you could buy your own bag. No. Okay. You said what? Like they he a millionaire talk it. to a thousandaire and tell them to buy your own shit. I mean, nah, you ain't gotta buy. But I'm saying, do he what? What standard do he like? Don't he gotta stay above a certain standard? I mean, I'm pretty sure his standard is very surface level. So whenever you reach that kind of status. Tori ain't walking around looking for a boss. Oh, let me see Tori, man. Hell no, nah, they don't want no boss because a boss ain't going to be able to go on tour with him. Exactly. He needs somebody that's just beck and call all the time. I'm going to tell you about his sway. You see a ludicrous wife was a doctor and she yeah. ain't been practicing. Yep. She ain't been practicing. No. Man, yeah, that's cool. That's his wife. He ain't but, say if his wife asked for a bag. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is. That nigga, that look like he ain't about what no bitch talking about. <laughs> he can say that. He look like one of them niggas that'll say that. Man, I ain't buying a bitch shit. That, that's the but is that okay? The bitches away. Is that, that okay? It. Oh, that believe it. Yeah. So he, it may not even be true. He just saying. Yeah, yeah. That just a, too many of you bitches asking for bags. <laughs> <now. laughs> he probably, it's all, yeah, yeah. He one of them niggas bitches beg for him all the time. So you think he really is buying a bag, but he trying yeah, to just man, set the tempo. He paying for. He, he look like one of them niggas. That he look like a trick. Shit. He, he look like a trick. Now in this picture, he I ain't got time for that. He doing quick shit. He look like a trick to me. Yeah, yeah man, he, he look like he'll trick off some money shit. if you ain't asking for it. You know, it's niggas like that. You just don't ask. You said what? There's niggas out there like you just don't ask them and then they'll surprise you with shit. Yeah. They'll be like, and then their go-to will be, oh, she don't ever ask me for nothing. That's why she get the word. Yeah, yeah, she get the word because she ain't never asked for it. Nigga, that's that's a trick too. Yeah, the life is a trick. <laughs> that's that's a game too. Which game you gonna play in? <laughs> this nigga look like he ain't. Man. I I would pay for a three hundred dollar dinner for somebody who makes the uh, one hundred fifty million. Hell just to, just yeah! To seem like I got it. Hell, and car over okay. there worried. Hell. Okay, car Shit. decline or car? Nah, the car go through is overdrawn. <laughs> that nigga hell said, yeah, I do it. Nigga I got said, you, babe. If you love me, stream my new album. Mm. <laughs> okay. I thought that nigga was a singer. That nigga look like he... Uh, he is a singer. He, that nigga dressed like he a uh, trap star of the year. <laughs> like he he trapped. Look, look at him right there. Just looking like, like a little old like rich that, nigga. He like, a, uh, look like he ready to get what's got. What's that nigga name? Uh, <laughs> he look like he ready to get robbed. Okay. Young nigga. And, uh, what? I'm a Nita. What's his name? Uh, he yellow too. Okay. Young Nito. Fuck a bitch in a peacoat. Oh, tiger. tiger. Yeah, he look like Tiger right there. Well, he said he told Tiger after he told Tiger, "Put me down with your doctor, and I promise you, I'll give you free features forever for his hair and for his hairline." And it worked, didn't Damn. it? Damn! Oh, him and Tiger cool. Yeah, they cool. They need a hairline. Tori just got a new hairline, and apparently yeah, Tiger got one my, too. I need to holler at that nigga. Now. Tiger been had one. You see, Tiger got Tiger got uh, braids, flats and stuff. <laughs> so his took real good. Everybody <laughs> ain't job. reject shit. Okay. My Tory hair look a damn shit. mess in that in that uh, T Pain video. I can't see it. My partner want to get his shit done. I might need to holler at Tiger people. Ah, uh, no, they said that shit like fifty grand. No. <laughs> <laughs> How much it costs to go bald? Ten dollars. <laughs> 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 be back that week. <laughs> 
You can always buy that spray too. That that Beijing? Uh-huh. Shit. Nah, dude, he messed me up and put that spray in my shit. And I was walking around, everybody was saying, Yo, shit clean. <laughs> <laughs> but your hair not even that dark. Your hair's like sandy color. Like, they was, I was getting compliments. You look crisp. Yeah, it was crisp. Until you get wet. <laughs> yeah, that next day, that shit. Dripping, Dripping down your forehead or peeling. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, you no, know, he messed up. I, ain't, I thought my shit. Was, I ain't know what. I thought he was spraying some activator. <laughs> Nigga, why do you need activator? <laughs> and why do you spray activator? And you didn't. You knew you didn't have. <laughs> I thought that was good. Where was the patch at? Where he plugged you? In the front. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Hand black. I thought I was working on a car. Imagine touching your hand, it look like a mechanic hand when you pull it down off your head. <sighs> and then you still whatever okay whatever your barber plug your head right you still gotta pay for the haircut yeah, you don't know he didn't even know it's a cold <laughs> world I ain't got a look <laughs> I already got a compliment oh you said you ain't got a look I ain't got a look oh you was cocky yeah. that's partly your fault cause if you saw the, the color variations you know your hair ain't that damn dark. No, nah, I went to the bathroom. After looked in the mirror, I, I ain't good close though. <laughs> I was like, I see what they talking about, niggas. Come on. <laughs> well, it was at a wedding. Huh? You went to a wedding? It was a wedding. It was a wedding. Nigga I had the barber at the wedding. Mm-hmm. Nigga, what the fuck? Yeah, at the bar. We just had to be. Barber girl. probably had a few drinks. She had the. T- Tequila machine was there. <laughs> the tequila <laughs> machine. The margarita machine. Did you go back to that barber? No. Oh. Why you let a barber you didn't even know cut your hair? I thought that was like the golden rule. You don't cheat on your barber. Uh, it was uh, convenient. He was at, I was at the wedding. I was invited to the wedding. He already there. Uh, Wait. And he charging for haircuts at the he wedding. He charged me. He fucked your shit up. Well, yeah, the other dude was paying. <laughs> I tipped, though. Wait. So you were in the wedding? I was in the okay. Wedding. So he, he yeah, just wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? He just wasn't sitting up at the re- reception cutting hair. No. Okay. It was plain. Okay. Hey, be here early. Get all the people in the that's going to be in the wedding clean. Barbara Ham sure. probably shaking. He probably like, this is my fifth head for the day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, this is my first day at a barber college. <laughs> But they don't know that my social media. My social media I got thirty thousand followers. I just bought for the, the fact that he had the Beijing on deck. Oh, he yeah, he didn't fucked up some heads before. With the oh, he didn't fuck that. Ain't the first time he fucked up somebody's head. Probably not. Won't be the last. Fuck. Mm. So who who else? Who else? Uh, Tory Lanez. What else he got? <laughs> I, think, I think that's it. That's it for Tory. That's all I have in this week with the shit. Okay, so we're just gonna talk to you for a little bit. What y'all want to know? Dang. What? We should have did the uh. Would you rather question? Oh, we can pull them up real quick. Go ahead and speak but, about yourself. But real, but real quick. Oh, my shirt. What are you thankful for? And you know, I mean, by the time y'all hear this, Thanksgiving going to be over, but it ain't past yet. So what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for YouTube videos and self-help videos. Oh, I thought you were saying YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about us. Video, yeah, I thought you said YouTube hoes at first. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube videos? Yeah, we're gonna, uh, yeah but well, um, they've been ahead and came through this this month past couple of months because I be uh, looking up stuff to better myself mm-hmm. and it is a lot of things that's out there that you can learn to better yourself that's not always in the book even though it's better to read a book but at least it's another way out there besides a book that you can learn something that the people around you probably don't know mm-hmm. so I uh, I appreciate that because I done learned a lot and I, I see a lot of flaws and mistakes I've been making and Figured out ways to correct them and be a better person. So yeah, I'm thankful for that. Okay. It's working. What are you thankful for, Tam? Uh, I'm thankful for life. I'm thankful for um, the ability to have a fresh start every day. Mm-hmm. And I'm thankful for really, most importantly, for having a sane mind mm. and family. Sorry what about you? Um, I'm thankful for 
my support system mm. because it's been a really crazy year. So I'm thankful for the people around me that um, keep me grounded and keep me going. Um, I'm thankful for. Yeah, I mean, I just want. I, yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me. Instead she said she happy, thankful for the same mind. I'm thinking. Do you know somebody that got a different one? Yep. A different mind. Mm-hmm. What are they at? <laughs> they when they mind change. What ages was they? Oh, probably seventeen. They were seventeen, and then they mind changed. Started acting funny. Mental illness. Yeah. You don't know one. I know several, but that's the the first one that comes to mind. <laughs> Yeah, man. It was the worst one. You knew you were cool with her? It's my cousin. Yeah. I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. My guy, I have a guy cousin that. It's a guy? Yeah. He don't to this dude. Nah, he don't. Okay. Nah, he ain't there at all. But okay. I remember seeing the shift in him. What he, What kind of situation made the shift? Oh. Uh, everybody first thought drugs. I think he did start doing drugs, honestly. A new type of drug. And then there was. <laughs> It was a point in time he was still in high school yeah. and he stole a saxophone <laughs> from the band room. And uh, I remember my grandpa called my mom mm-hmm. and was like, God damn it. This nigga done went to the school, stole a fucking saxophone, had the saxophone hanging out his backpack no. <laughs> and got arrested. Damn. And so it was real, real, real small country ass town. I remember his bond was twenty five dollars. And my grandfather's like, he going to sit there. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's when I remember seeing the shift in him. That's why I'm like, a sane mind is so important and something to be so grateful so for. Used to being able to talk to him. Yeah, that was never in the equation. Mm mm. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> right, <laughs> that nigga ain't never said nothing to me. We used to all be able to be around him. Can't nobody be around him no more. Damn, that shit crazy. A drug. Yeah, man, for real. A drug. and drugs are bad. <laughs> this nigga here. Okay, C. I'm going to call you C for real. Okay. So we have a few would you rather questions. Would you rather? They a little dirty though. Are you okay with that? I like dirty. Oh, all right. Say less. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first one. Would you rather touch yourself in private or in the presence of your significant other? Touch myself in private or in front of something. I, 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 I like, but I mean, rather. Yeah, yeah you got to pick one. I'd rather do it in front of somebody that would make it count, maybe. Oh, so like you touch yourself and then it turn into some other shit. Yeah. Okay, what about you, B? Oh, it's, a, it's an intimate moment. I'd rather do it by myself. Yeah, I'd rather do it by myself, too. Because I feel like if I do it in front of somebody, it's going to take too long. It's gonna take too long. Yeah, and I can get it done. I just, I just don't <laughs> want nobody looking at my faces. With like, you know, them faces oh, ain't yeah. cute, and like, I think I want to change mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so you can never touch yourself. Yeah, you can only other? touch yourself in private or touch yourself in front of your significant private. other. Oh, I, don't want nobody look, I, I mean, do yeah, because I'm always with me. <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna always have a significant other, <laughs> right? So I say by myself. Okay, next one. Would you rather masturbate all day or have sex all day? Wait, all day? All day. Straight 24. Man, I ain't got time to do that. I'm going that much, huh? <laughs> I'd rather masturbate. You'd rather masturbate? Mm, I think I'd rather have sex all day. You'd rather have sex all day? Yeah. yeah. Bitch ain't going to be tired. Hey, yeah. I mean, but you can, you can you can have sex and not come. Like, you you come from masturbating. I ain't come, I ain't no, not. I'm saying you come from masturbating. You just be like, ooh. All right, you be sore. Like, you 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 can't keep doing the same stuff. You're going to be bored. You ain't going to be doing the same. You're going to have a new thought every time. No, you masturbating? No. Like, it's going to be quick. Mm-hmm. You're going to get to do something else when you finish. But you know what takes, what gets you there. That was what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. So with the with the other part, like y'all could just really you could be intimate kissing. You ain't gotta be like I mean y'all have a sex but fucking you fucking yeah. But you ain't gotta oh, be God, like just going bend to, over, <laughs> <laughs> going to pound, pound. You done? Bend, uh, uh, bend over, <laughs> stay there, stay there. Don't you move. You already know. You said all day. I told your ass all day. <laughs> I don't know. What about you? Uh, I think I'd rather have sex all day too. Okay. Day. Yeah. All right, so I got one. Would you rather have a one night stand with someone who's really attractive or someone really skilled in bed? 
Skilled. But the, is the skilled person yeah, ugly? The skilled person is ugly. What does it mean? <laughs> you said what we did we do? Would you rather <laughs> how to, would you rather have a one night stand with someone really attractive or someone really skilled in bed? One night stand. Attractive, cause I ain't gonna know if they skilled in bed until I get them in the bed, and I'm yeah, mm. attractive. What if, what if you get her in the bed and she just lay there, yeah, don't do she nothing. Don't do nothing, she don't suck dick, don't move, like a starfish. It's bad though. <laughs> just lay your fine ass there. <laughs> I imagine the rest. What I would have did to your fine ass. <laughs> Not imagine the rest. <laughs> well, I mean, you ain't doing that. What you gonna? I mean, bend over. <laughs> That's your answer for everything. Stay right there. Get them neck cock, arch that back, and that's it. What else is they saying? What else would she be doing if she wasn't? Nah, if, it wasn't I'm a, if it's a one night stand, I'm gonna go with the skilled. You gonna go with skilled? It's, yeah, it'd be ugly. It's just one night. But an ugly but, person, I ain't even gonna be turned yeah, on. You gonna have a one night stand? You only finna do this one time. You gonna pick an ugly motherfucker? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, I don't it, know if I can have sex with an ugly person. It depends. Like, uh, it, it's skilled. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the skill. Cause you direct that unskilled motherfucker. Do this. Yeah. Do that right there. Oh. But an unskilled nigga versus that's sleeping a, with an unskilled a, woman is a little different. Cause a woman can still just lay there and you, you still, still gonna, gonna get yours. Yeah. But like you having sex with a nigga and he don't even stroke right yeah. or like his rhythm off. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's a hard one actually. Oh yeah. I'm yeah. I'm just. I'm still gonna choose the ugly nigga. Nah, you gonna steal nut fast because you wanted his ass so much. You gonna hey, no, so but fine. but see, a, but after after that happens, I can't even like semi respect you no more. Like if you find one night, I don't, don't care. Anyway. He ain't even never see him again. It's just one night. But I just mm-mm. like if I so if I had a crush and like I had sex with them and it was whack, I'm gonna you feel pl- fuck you little crush up. Yeah, yeah. But you gonna be thinking, oh, I liked him. Mm-hmm. I liked him. I liked him. <laughs> He finally, you know, he ain't do that much, but I had nah. that. Whatever the fuck you, I don't know. Well, I nah. guess not. You know what I'm saying. I'd rather keep the crush and like not, yeah. never know. I'd rather just suck. masturbate. <laughs> Did you either one? Just pass him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Okay. Would you rather your girlfriend slash boyfriend was an ex porn star, or your sister slash brother is currently a porn star? What was the first one? Your your girlfriend slash boyfriend was an ex porn star, so they used to do porn. Uh-huh. Yeah. Or your brother slash sister is currently a porn star. Oh, let them be. Let let my siblings be about their life. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's their life. I don't. Mm, I don't know if I want to see my man and anybody else to see my man. And so, ooh, what'd it be? A, uh, mm. Yeah, they'll be like, "That's what you was hitting." I. Uh, yeah. I mean, I. I what if you accidentally come across your sibling porn though? Oh, I'm not. Man. As soon as I see T Stone, I'm like, Ooh, yep. back up, <laughs> back up. I don't want to see no parts of that. Hell Stone not. daddy. Hell, I don't listen. I don't need to. I don't need to know nothing. I don't have to. I don't have to look I'm at like it. If I seen my brother or my sister, yeah. Would, would you Would you rather your girl be an ex porn star or your brother or sister be a porn star? Currently. Ex-girl be a porn star. No, your I girl be an ex porn star. Oh my girl! Right. Oh my ex! No, yeah, no. basically. So you either gonna watch porn and either see your ex, your girl, your current girlfriend, who used her to do old porn, videos, or your, your brother doing or sister's now. current porn. Damn. <laughs> I could imagine, baby. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> baby. You let them do all that. <laughs> Oh, why you let him go in there? <laughs> <laughs> why you let him go in there? Something wrong with you. Oh, I would be. My brother was doing, I was like, that nigga that fool. You were watching? <laughs> All right, T.I. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the shit sound like. Being, being if, if it was my sister, I would, no! <laughs> you let him Can't disrespect you? you? You be doing. I'm going to tell you. You just proved, you just. I just proved what the T.I. Yes. Man, I told you, people. They're human beings, they can do whatever they want to do. They got the power to. But your reaction to your brother and sister was totally different. They had both grown. <laughs> but your reaction is different is what I'm saying. You didn't say, girl, you a fool. I'll say, damn, that nigga hugging you out. 
<laughs> you ain't gonna have nothing to work with. Like <laughs> this. Well, I would say, damn, bro, you hunting that bitch out. <laughs> she ain't gonna have shit to work with later. <laughs> so which <laughs> somebody shit hard out? I gotta talk about whoever shit getting hard out. I'm gonna let them know. And if it's a girl, it's gonna be her. And if it's a boy, it's gonna be the boy doing the hulling out. So that's why it's like that, did. So maybe T.I. got a point. Oh, oh that's, that's what we're not gonna do. <laughs> Which one would you rather? Oh, I think I'd rather. I don't know if I could date a porn star, though. I'd probably rather it be one of my siblings and I'd just probably skip. Act like you've never seen it. Just don't even look. Don't be the one. Don't even look at the ebony nah, category. I would, uh, nah, I would so watch would. my... If it was my dude, I'd probably watch it. Uh, see, that that's a thing. See, if it was a girl, I wouldn't want... What if, man, no. She probably getting towed down. <laughs> Well, she in the orgy. Uh, I just, I just gang, wouldn't. I just gang bang. She in the gang bang. I wouldn't want like, yeah, double her. penetration. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn, baby, they in every hole. You ain't, you ain't putting no restrictions. A, a glory hole. Yeah. Yeah. What if she in the glory hole? And just like a random dick. Just don't even know. They just oh. How would you feel? I was like, no, but, but why you do anything for money? I see. <laughs> but what if? Okay, what if it was the most amazing head ever? Man, I don't. That probably be the title of the damn thing. <laughs> or the flick. Yeah. What's yeah. amazing head ever? Amazing head ever. You couldn't look past it though. Uh, uh, I be thinking I can look past anything, but like, I just be like, damn, that is too much. Like, if she was in one of them, I'm imagining the worst of the world. Right. And I'm imagining seeing the girl. You know how them white boys pull up on you on the street? Oh, yeah. Bang bros. Uh-huh. Bang, bang bus. bros. And then they get you in there and they take you to the house and then six white boys ready. <laughs> Thing hard in the motherfucker. <laughs> and then they all get a piece of that. And I got to watch. That's like not even good to watch. <laughs> hey, you by- when they just walk in and they be, you know, they be stroking it. They be waiting to get that bitch naked. So I just be like, damn, I be thinking, you finna let all them do you? <laughs> nah, that ain't good. I just, I mean, at I just, the same time? I feel like you, at least you know, because it could be happening and they wouldn't record it. So at least you know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, at least I feel I'm like. Ask her. Well, that'll be a good conversation. You ever did a, a game bang? <laughs> well, she was like a millionaire porn star. It made right. a lot of money off of porn. Like Let Pinky. me see. Let me see which one got the most hits. <laughs> which video? Yeah. And you'd watch it. I say so. This was making a million dollars. Hmm. Okay. Damn. <laughs> you got another one? I have one. Okay. Go ahead. Would you rather have loud and rough sex while your grandparents were in the next room or while your parents were in the next room? Grandparents, because they can't hear properly. Bingo. That, bingo. <laughs> I was just going to say, my grandma can't hear that well. Yeah. Mm-mm. See, my grandma, she's probably just going to call me and that, Quinn! <laughs> <laughs> the hell is that noise in there? Huh? I don't know. And that's it. Yeah. Go back. Yeah, my grandma sleep hard with her mouth open, so. Whoa. Flies. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I feel like I can get away with it. What about you? I think I probably have to go with the grandparents too, just for the simple fact they old. But see, they gonna sleep early. So why would somebody pick their mama? <laughs> Get <laughs> up and up. Maybe, you know, some people like super cool with their parents though. Like they could have their boyfriend or whatever come over. You know what I'm saying? Get mad. <laughs> Damn, mad. <laughs> Hold out. Yeah, hold out. <laughs> some, some people are like that with they with their parents though. Just have an open relationship like that. Yeah. I. <laughs> so what? The, what's the conversation? M- Mama, daddy, did y'all heard me in there? <laughs> I'm going in, huh? That's oh. the song. Or, he was banging the shit out of me. <laughs> Ooh, I, I, he I, hold I, me out, Mama. He hold me out, Mama. I ain't going to be no more good. The porn star agency won't even hire me. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't tow up every hole already. <laughs> I wish T.I. was my dad. <laughs> oh, I hate it here. <laughs> Something's really wrong with you. Something's really wrong with your ass. Okay, I have one. Would you rather suck at foreplay or suck at sex? Foreplay? 
Sex, foreplay, shit. Nah, I rather. Foreplay is before. important though. Yeah, but sex is more. <laughs> yeah. Want to be a bad titty sucking motherfucker? <laughs> Suck the shit out your titty, baby. Damn. Man, he ain't got no dick. Damn. Let me suck your yeah. titty though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's what the fuck be. I don't know. I don't know somebody who like oh, you who was good at foreplay. Who just lick the titty? He can't do that good of a job, but he hulling your shit out. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I actually been with somebody who was actually good at foreplay and the sex was bad. So I, I think I'd rather have the good sex. Like I think I may too. Cause for for niggas, it don't really take much for y'all. Uh-uh. You just told us in the beginning it don't take much for you. How I say that? Said it don't take much. You be trying to get done. It's just I can do it masturbating. myself. Yeah. But like when you're with somebody, uh, like yeah. if you would a, a guy really, you know what I'm saying? You ride three minutes, he gonna come. Yeah. So it it don't cool. really. <laughs> that's all you want. It feel good. I want to feel good. How long do it take to feel good? Hey, whichever. I, so I you want good. whichever one lasts longer and you felt the best at? Yeah. Mm, so she was good at giving head, but she stank. Nah, oh, okay. I don't like stink. <laughs> if she good at giving head, but she been hold out, <laughs> <laughs> like on the hot dog down the hallway. Okay, I smelt man. I smelt the bad one before. Huh? I smelt the bad one before. It's not good. A bad pussy. Mm-hmm. What? What you do? Fine, man. What man? That girl was fine. What you do? I ain't you know fucked? until I yeah I hit. <laughs> he was about to come up with some bullshit. I ain't know until after I was in it. I ain't know. And then you didn't stop. We was under the cover. Nah, we was under the cover. And when I raised up, it was getting hot under the cover. Mm-hmm. So I picked up the cover and all the funk just rushed up out from under the cover. Damn. I said, ooh. You said that? Well, in my mind, I might have said it. I might have <laughs> hung that motherfucker in real life. Uh-huh. But I was like, damn, what I. It smelled like I should get out of it, but oh. I was like, shit, I'm already in it. Yeah. Mm. You're now. I, just, I finished. And then I was like, I ain't going to do that no more. And then my homeboy came over there and he looked at her. He was like, damn, boy, she fine. I said, don't do it. You told him, don't even do it. I said, it ain't. I think I, he remember what I said. He in jail. And I think I just straight up <laughs> said, man, it stank. Bro. I Something. bet he take the stank pussy now. Yeah, I said, man, it ain't. I told him it stank, though. He know it stank. He know it wasn't right. What? It wasn't right. Oh lord! Some of them out here ain't right. I just don't understand how you don't smell funky pussy until during it. it, it, it what the outside was clean. It was the inside. <laughs> Maybe she had like yeah. a an infection or something. I think uh, she had just had a baby or something. I think she ain't. Uh, she ain't. Uh, I feel sick. She had just had she had a little placenta still in there? I don't know about nothing like that. I hope not it didn't go that far. I hope it wasn't a baby that no. Nah, it was past that baby part. <laughs> what? Past that cycle. It was some weeks later. How many I don't know how many weeks. All I know is she was fine, but it's nine. Mm. That's it. Okay. More of the other story. We don't know why. Or how we got there. How it got there. Just know that some of them can be fine and it can stink. Fuck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I be here, I be here though it's like mostly the fine ones that got something going on. Well, see the fine ones, they get going in so much. They niggas got these different games. They trying to figure out which one good, which one. They trying to figure out who got the good faux play and the good sex, who don't got the good sex, but the good faux play, who got the head, no They trying head, to find a good who combo. Got the money, who ain't got no money, who to call for. <clears throat> they trying to figure out all of them getting the hit though to find this out. <laughs> That's, like, That's the only way to find out. Somebody got the money, somebody got the head, somebody got the dick. Damn. You mix all three of them, that shit stank. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I got another would you rather. Okay. Would you rather eat your partner's ass or have your ass eaten by your partner? Both. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh you, oh, you with the shits, huh? Friend. I'll put it on there. Friend, you want your ass ate? Do I want it? Yeah. I will. Do you want your ass ate? 
Do I want? Nah, I don't want it now. <laughs> God damn, y'all is uh, on an ass eating. No premises. <laughs> I'm asking a question because I don't know. I'm listening. If, I, don't, I don't know if you just understood. I'm before you, the question. Reset, reset, reset. <laughs> would you rather eat ass or would you rather have your ass eaten? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, that nigga said yeah, both mine. of them so fast. Yeah. Both of them. Okay, so okay, so you didn't understand. I heard both of them, but I guess both of them will be done. I don't know. So, <laughs> so you like getting your ass ate? See, I have before. How'd it feel? When I tell you, <laughs> <laughs> come on, Papa. They, they didn't did it. It felt strange. <laughs> a good strange or a bad strange. <laughs> Just like how I felt a good that. strange or a bad strange it felt like ooh <laughs> <laughs> ooh <laughs> that sounds good ooh <laughs> that was just ooh <sighs> ooh how long did it continue for well yeah <laughs> I, mean, I said when she did it I said let me pull this timer out <laughs> <laughs> See how long she gonna be See down. See how long there. she gonna do this. She's doing it on purpose or <laughs> okay. is that an accident? Okay, so I have a question. Did she did you know she was getting ready to do it? I didn't know. Oh, so she just surprised you. It was a surprise. So was she like giving you head first and then she yeah, went to the balls really and then she good. went a little everything was good and good. I was all mm-hmm. into everything and everything. Feeling great. Mm-hmm. And it felt the tongue and said, and ooh. And then I said, ooh. Okay. Made you say ooh. <laughs> did not made you say ooh. Yeah. Uh, I'ma say I'd rather get my ass ate. Like I don't mind eating nigga well, that's ass. Cause but... all the girls gonna say that, ain't no. It? I mean, I I eat a nigga ass. Like there ain't no problem with me. But I just, I mean, <sighs> niggas just ain't the cleanest. Did somebody turn the AC off? <laughs> oh, you you hot? Yeah, yeah. On the arm, so. Oh, let me turn it on. <laughs> he already told his secret. That's why. Yeah, they gonna eat. The HOS gonna listen to us. Yeah, she gonna hear. And like that nigga didn't say ooh. He wasn't supposed to tell nobody. <laughs> nah, if she did it, she don't care. Okay. Oh my bad. Yeah, you you, you really in here sweating? I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Papa. Boy, it been off. Yeah. Um. I ain't know if it didn't start counting until now. <laughs> <laughs> I ran out of juice. I ain't had no more juice. Damn. I'll get you some more. Need some juice. <laughs> nah, I, don't, okay. I don't mind, but like I just, I just rather. I feel like that's the that's the part of I the feel process. Like every woman gonna say that. I, I just I wanna, I don't mind. Oh, okay, we'll go. Like, I go. would much rather get my ass ate. I ain't eating no nigga ass. We're gonna find out what the uh, <laughs> which girl. Well, you already said it. Yeah. What? She already said it. Said yeah. what? She will, but she rather do her get hers. Mm-hmm. But I was thinking the other way. One that say she will and would but would go to up, do the other way. Oh, so somebody to say both of them yeah. like you? No. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm. Well, boom. There you go. We didn't all gave her the opposite answer. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather walk around with an erection from six a.m. to five fifty nine p.m. or never be able to have an erection from six p.m. to five fifty nine a.m.? Redo that question. Would you ever, would you rather walk around with an erection all day, or never be able to have an erection, or all night? No, all day. Okay, so would you rather walk around with an erection all day, or never be able to have an erection all night? Oh, I'd rather be able. I'd rather want it in the daytime. Give me a night job. <laughs> so you rather be hard all day? Turn a bitch up in the daytime, bitch. I gotta go to work tonight. <laughs> So that means you can never have sex at night. I'm be at work. <laughs> you I ain't got to do nothing. Mm. Why can't you get a day job? Because my shit ain't... Oh, hold up. Because if you got a day job, your dick going to be hard at work. Mm-hmm. No, if you have a day job, you, you'll be hard at night. No, no you have an saying. erection from 6 a.m. to 6, 5.59 p.m. Oh. Yeah. When you're supposed to be fucking, you ain't going to be able to fuck. So I'm going to just go to work, go Uber that night. <laughs> but then when the morning come, you about to get ready to go to work. I can hit you when you wake up all the way till you got to go to work. Then if you off, I got all day until I got to go to work. And just sitting at home with a hard dick. Yeah. <laughs> 
think about it. <laughs> 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 had to think about it. Sitting at home just with a hard dick. You got one more? Uh, <laughs> let me see. We have any questions this week? We do have some questions, but I guess maybe we should interview you. Yeah. Since we said we was going to get to you later. We're going to get into you. Get more. Get all the information now as you can. <laughs> okay. So tell for our listeners, tell them what all you do because you do a lot. Okay. Uh, one thing I do. Uh, what all I do? Well, can I say this real Go quick? Ahead. When I met him, he's like, he was a drone pilot. And I was like, what the fuck is that? Mm-hmm. And I was like, that's not a legit business. Yeah. I would just speak. Were you really? No, nah, I got my oh. drone pilot's license. That's, he has a license to fly drones. Yeah. I didn't know you needed one. Yeah. UASS, all that. But Damn. he actually has a license to fly drones. Yep. So, okay. Be flying everywhere. I do uh, the videos for that. Got the YouTube page, doing the editing for it, putting music together for it. I might, uh, I do race cars. I'm a drag racer. I go uh, different states sometimes. I you be a different. yellow belly? Yeah, I be a yellow belly. Oh, you probably know somebody that I know. I know all everybody at Yellow Belly know me. Uh I'll be at <laughs> XRP, the newest track that's over here. I go there. Uh, what else I do? I'm a uh motivator. Mm-hmm. Motivator. Some people say I should be a comedian. I could be a halfway comedian. <laughs> Not halfway. Uh, let me see. What else? So he has his hands in a lot of stuff. Yeah, I'll be just whatever it seemed like I could get into. I mess with it. And actually, like, he's really good. I was surprised when I was seeing his YouTube video because I was like, man, this shit's gonna be wet. And it actually wasn't. It's shot really well. You do all your own editing. You put the music together. You find music and stuff. And your videos are actually really, really good. Yeah, they've been, I've been getting a couple new hits. And I don't even watch, uh, I don't even like racing stuff. It was like one time I went over there and we just like, Worked on your social media and merging oh, yeah. all that shit and like. I think I got some new followers for that. You don't know how to do none of it, <laughs> but I mean, you good at what you do do. Yeah. So that's the most important thing. So, um, where are you from, and how did you get like really into racing and all that stuff? Nigga, I'm from Dallas. Hey. <laughs> I eat Rudy's. Yeah. And I used to rock leather. Uh huh. I'm trying to find this nigga and see if you know him. Yeah. He do. I know him. You do? Let me see that. Oh, yeah, man. I know all his crew. For real? Yeah, hey, yeah. Hmm. No, I don't, man. <laughs> 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 Let me see. What was the question? <laughs> Where are you from? And how'd you oh, get involved with racing? Awesome. Nigga, I'm from Dallas. Yeah, yeah. I, I eat rootless. Yeah, come on. I eat rootless, too. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so boom. Yeah, from there and uh, who there? How I started drag racing and racing, my uncle used to uh, race. He used to be coming from, um, he used to do the the drag racing on the streets. And when I was little, he used to come home and have a story to tell. And he used to be explaining the story to where it sounds so exciting. He'd be like, man, y'all was right here. And he was right there. And I popped second and I started going around him. And he was ah! like, what? It was like, what? He's like, yeah, it was. So he used to explain all them stories to me and. I just be like, I just want to go so bad. I want to see this excitement that he's saying is out there. And I used to go sometimes and I used to see the excitement. And then as I got older, I wanted to be a part of the excitement that uh, the other people was doing. So I seen everything that they was doing. And I just pretty much new technology ended up coming around right. as I grew up. So it was it was like a new platform that I jumped on. I jumped on at the right time, really not knowing that I was getting ahead of the game. Mm. And I started beating them. And uh, that gave me a little name, a little fame. And then that kept motivating me uh, to want to keep learning and how to do more and more. So I just started racing more and more, learning more and more knowledge on it. And now. I'm- so there's like actual knowledge in behind racing? Yeah. The, the key of a motor is pretty much getting her in and getting her out. And it ain't uh, as simple. You got to have some knowledge because there's a lot of shortcuts. And then the stuff already costs a lot of money. Right. And then you got action that's spending a lot of money and not having it getting tuned right, per se. Like, you can have everything good, but, like, you can have a badass keyboard. But if you don't know how to work it, then you just got a badass keyboard. It can do it. But right. But not going to do it if you don't know how to make it do it or you don't call somebody that know how to do it. And in the race game, you could call somebody 
that say, hey, I know how to do it. And they and really he don't. Ain't really, he know how to get it. The auto tune on a little on point, but he ain't going to get you to the winning circle to make a hit. So that's the same thing in a racing game. You got all those type of different variables that could affect you. So I learned a lot of knowledge to not go through those type of variables and shortcuts and ways around. People don't like all my shortcuts, but you got to. I know a way. <laughs> so I know a way. I know a way. I know a way on a lot of things, though. So <laughs> it's funny you said that because when I wasn't so busy in school, I would just go over his house like, hey, I'm here. He said, come on. And like if I like he's the type of friend that if you need something done, he's going to like, OK, so what do we need to do? We need mm. to do this. We need to do that. And like for our live show, yeah, that damn pellet wall, it, which is still there, it is. it's still there. Um, <laughs> the damn made. wall, yes, got it made. Not only did he take me to who could make it, but we drove around damn near all night getting parts and pieces and yeah. finding shit. And then he brought this shit the next day. <laughs> that shit was heavy as hell. Delivered it and everything else. So like, that's one thing. Like I'll always remember. Like he he's the type of friend that like. He ain't gonna be like, damn, that suck. Right. Shit. Damn, what you gonna do? You gonna he got an outcome. He got he gonna have yeah, a resolution. It's a resolution. I, I always try to I don't like when people be thinking that it ain't no way and then there's other people out there that can make a way because I hate hearing things like, Oh man, I wish I would have known that. I mm. wish I would have did that. I didn't hear that too many times, so I started to feel like as I was young, I don't wanna be saying that same dumb ass shit. Man, if I was younger, I would have been, man, I don't want to be saying that. Mm. I want to be young and I'm doing what you thought you would be the best thing going. Mm. I'm on it. I fuck with it. I'm not even going to lie. I don't want to be that one that's wishing. And living off of regrets. Yeah. I don't even think you said everything you do. You just said the drone pilot. Racing. I don't know what it, I raise drone pod. I raise people on feet. I work. Yeah, I, <laughs> not on shit, feet. Whatever, whatever. That nigga I doing a foot race. Do I, I mean, I play basketball. I do it all. Oh, whatever, man. whatever. I podcast. <laughs> that nigga added this is resume after this. <laughs> and, yeah, whatever needs to be done, let me know how to do it. Hey, I'll let you know if I'm ready or whatever. I can get to it. I ain't, I ain't really ain't too much. I can't do. What's your favorite car to race with? Whatever they think they can beat, that they really can't. Mm. That's my favorite thing, which is what I got. I got a Caprice, but it's a 2011. And you wouldn't imagine like a Caprice like beating all the cars. Mm-hmm. Because it weighed like 4,000, 4,500 pounds. Mm-hmm. And like things like Corvettes and stuff weigh like 3,000 pounds. And you know that they gave the Corvette the best motor that they have to offer. Right. And I pull up in a way heavier car with music and speakers and rims, so you automatically think, "Ain't no way this car over here costs sixty, seventy thousand. I don't even know what that is over there, but it don't look <laughs> like it's worth no money like this. I know that thing over there look way lighter. This over here is a four door. I'm gonna go with the light looking car, and that's what I like. I want you to go with the light one, the looking one, the expensive one. Right. I hope y'all. Bet a piece of that car note to one of them things so I can end up with it. Oh. So the people that be having like Hellcats and stuff, they be like, I got 707 horsepower. I be like, well, do you want to bet $707? <laughs> so, you know, that's the problem. What's the most amount of money you lost? Lost? I've been upset before. Uh, probably, about, <laughs> probably about 500. That's a heartbreaker. Damn, I lose five hundred. I'd be sick too. Hell, yeah, five hundred. That's been a heartbreak. I'd have won fifteen hundred. Damn, I'd have won fifteen hundred before, man. That was that, that. That was better than the heart. Ooh, that was good. Damn, fifteen hundred. You win fifteen hundred. What's the first thing you do? Shit, look at it. I was just <laughs> looking at it. I, but now nah, it was really when I ain't really had too much money, mm. and um, it was like five people, but it was my car. This this the bad parts. Five people that they represent my car, and we going against these Mexicans. They they like was a cartel type shit. Damn, they had money, but they and they had the new Jeep. It was this was an example of what I was just talking about. They had the new SRT Jeep, mm. the one that's got the they baddest package. They had two of them. They had the older one and the new one, brand new. They was like, 
And I had just got my car fixed. It didn't have a paint job, but it had a badass motor in it. Mm. So they was looking at it like, oh, shit, we were running. So I started baiting them in, telling them I ain't want to do whatever they was talking about. And I ended up getting to run both of them. So they ended up making me race the first one for like 500. And I barely beat them. And then I ended up telling them uh, I'll let them get a car in front of me and take off first if they put up. A thousand to my now it was fifteen hundred to my thousand yeah it was fifteen hundred to my thousand and my car was way faster than them and I beat them again damn I again. I was happy them, but we were splitting the money man ah uh, get all the money man man how many ways you split the money five ways wow, uh-huh. that's three hundred dollars a piece <laughs> oh that ain't even the coldest part I had one cousin there. One, I gave him one cousin all the money to get it to handle everything, and he didn't gave one of the other cousins too much money. Yeah, fucking God up. damn, that nigga ain't finna tell you shit. Hell no, <laughs> he ain't finna tell you, you gave too much money. Hell no, that nigga left with that money. I was like, man, something ain't right. Then his should have been short. Then whoever made the mistake. Mm, yeah, man, just don't I give don't him know. his cut. Hell nah. Man, we I I still kinda got fucked now, I think about that. <laughs> Looking thing now you thought you went from happy to being damn. Yeah, nah, that still was a good night. <laughs> <laughs> that still was a good night. It still was a good night. Okay, so we do have a couple of questions. You know, you can answer them That's for here. our listeners. So there's a man, we'll call him James. We met on Tinder, we talked, then dated for a month. He slowly started ghosting me, not all at once, but over time. I asked him about it head on. He explained that he doesn't see me as marriage material. Mm. I'm 26. I've never had a guy tell me this before. Naturally, I feel worthless now. I don't like the idea of a man's opinion of me changing my opinion of myself, but here we are. How do I hit restart and stop feeling like there's something wrong with me? She needs to know that human beings can do and say whatever the fuck they want to say, including shit that can hurt your feelings. Damn. So what do you do if somebody walks up to you and says, you know, they finna say some shit to hurt your feelings and they trying to bring your day down? Do you let them do it on purpose? Do you got to close your ears or you you just can't hear this negative news (laughs) or what the fuck? Take it and go on. That's all you can do. Or the next time motherfucker walk up to you, stick your fingers in your ear. Then you're going to look like a damn fool because you can't hear no (laughs) negative information. Can't hear good or bad information. Yeah. Well, a little bit more <laughs> practical because that don't make no damn sense. I Take think. It and leave it. Keep it moving. <laughs> I think that you should let like the opinions. <laughs> Nigga, say damn close cool. your damn ears. <laughs> you can't do that. So listen to what. It, all right, keep it moving. <laughs> you can't do nothing. What can you do? <laughs> Whoop his ass. No. I can just see. I can just see what they be like. <laughs> Man, I, I did. Had a that nigga was flicking the shit out of me. I was on my moped one day. He was, he was, motherfucker. Was, no, I don't think I was in the car. I was in the car. That nigga motherfucker started acting like he was shooting at me. Yeah, no. Nah, he he was. <laughs> hey, man. That was a white man, man. He, he came past by. He, man, you know how all right, he right here, he had to make a left, and I. I gone by, but he noticed that he couldn't go and get over. So he like, I got to get back in my lane. But no, nah, you didn't already move. So he mad at me. So he slow back down, go back around me and all that. He look back over there at me. He going to look at me out the window. <laughs> <laughs> boy, that shit was so funny to me. I said, boy, that damn gun don't work. <laughs> <laughs> Not no finger gun. <laughs> okay. So, so I have a question. If, you, if you're interested in someone and they're like, I mean, you cool, but I just don't see you as no husband. How would you feel? Alright. <laughs> Alright. You trying to be no husband that way? I'ma say shit, well if you can't see me, I can't see you as of my wife. <sighs> shit. That's a good point. Like who's to say that that nigga is husband material? Yeah. yeah. That nigga he's a human being with the action to say whatever the fuck he wants to say. Right. Including things that can possibly hurt your feelings. Yeah, because nobody made him the decision maker. Yeah, I think that's the main the thing to police. take from it. Like, I mean, who is this nigga? Yeah, y'all only been talking on Tinder. Like, how can he take that assessment from y'all conversation? So I wouldn't hold much weight into what this man's saying. 
Because clearly he got some other shit going on. I'm so, And you know what? Life got just a little tiny bit easier for me whenever I realized that people have the right to leave your life. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. They can do whatever. They can do whatever the fuck they want to do. Any <laughs> Literally at any time. He ghosting me. Uh, can he do that? Yeah. <laughs> or, 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 y'all signed a contract where he can't just stop. I, I'm telling I you. I think the thing is people want closure. Like they want to at least people know. People don't know how to close. So get that part understood. They don't know how to close. <laughs> they way of closing is ghost. I'm telling you, because honestly and truthfully, I've ghosted several people. I'm doing it now. I don't know how to say like. Hey man, I'm tired of talking to your ass. <laughs> yeah. You really ain't shit. You ain't got no job. You asking me for money. <laughs> And you always tell me I pull up. I'm not pulling up. So yeah. quit calling my phone. I really don't know how to ask. I really don't. Bad and cruel. And yeah. Just, I'm busy. I can't answer the exactly. phone. Exactly. If you don't like me because I'm too busy, then oh well. Yeah. I don't know how to have that kind of conversation with somebody where I'm like, I'm tired of texting you. I'm tired of talking to you. We went out. I really didn't have that much fun. I don't know how to have that conversation. So, ain't talking about nothing. I'm telling you. So I just be like, all like, right. You really ain't talking about nothing. She just ghost. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's simple. It's better. It's easy. They don't have to go through that conversation. Because if you tell a nigga, what you mean I ain't shit? Yeah. What you mean I ain't yeah. interesting? What you, you mean? Gotta say that. You gotta argue with you ain't gotta, you. Nah, you ain't gotta say all that. You just like, look, I don't think this is like, this ain't, I mean, yeah, this ain't it. That could hurt their feelings too, yeah, though. I don't wanna... But I feel like you should be honest with that person about what it is. Like, I don't. What... This ghost. Hmm. I'll be like, I just, I don't think we just, I don't think we just really connect like that. They don't sound bad. They don't. No. They, they, they so, sound... so what is you saying? Like, we don't connect like that. So like, you... I just don't think we have chemistry. I see you more as a friend. Okay, so like, you trying to be my friend now? Only friend. So what, like, I can still call mm-hmm. you. Well, yeah, we could talk as friends. Yeah, so it, we cool though. We cool as friends. But we, so what you ain't trying to know benefits? Nope, just friends. All I have, the benefit for you is the friendship. <laughs> Starts okay. 11 26 19. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That, okay, so if, you, if somebody don't understand that, they don't want to understand. But now, nah, why you ain't trying to go forward I'm though? Telling you. Why you ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying? Nigga really couldn't for you. And then shit. you have a conversation like that with a nigga, and then the next day he hit you up acting like you didn't yeah. just have this conversation with yeah, him. This nigga gonna be really like, nah, I'm trying to show you, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I really care for you on the cool. On, yeah. On everything. On, I'll put that on my set, man. On my, on my mama, bro. I care for Instead you. Instead of bro. a nigga being like, well, shit, she ain't answer my call fuck or text, bitch. like, fuck her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bitch, ain't worth my time. Yeah, worth yeah. Nigga, take that, that approach. See me calling me, <laughs> calling her motherfucking ass. Yeah, for real. She over there with that other nigga. Hell That's what yeah. it is. That other nigga got her time. <laughs> I got something for her and that other nigga. Them bitch ass nigga ain't got no money anyway. <laughs> Why are you like this? What they be saying? All right. We got, oh, we long story short, qu- don't hold too much weight when that nigga telling you that. Yeah. All right, we got one more question. What do you do about a guy who constantly uses the phrase, why are we even together as a means to end a discussion? He said, I love you after a month of dating, but still dangles our budding relationship over the trash whenever he becomes frustrated. Is there a way to make this stop? Mm. He, he what? So whenever they get into it, he says, why are we even together? Yeah. As I probably wouldn't girl, even be with him. Girls that be saying this shit. I mean, how old is they? Uh, they didn't say. I, I didn't did that before. Together. Like, what? What are we even doing this for? I mean, some a lot of relationships should be asking that goddamn question any goddamn way. And and the ones <laughs> that don't know say we doing the same thing these other motherfuckers going doing. I don't know. Uh, Why are we doing it? I feel like I mean that's a cool conversation to have, but you don't want to hear that if, when y'all having an argument. Yeah, because then I'm going to be like, okay, you know what? Fuck, Fuck it. We ain't got to be together. We ain't doing it. Okay, it's over. We ain't got to be together. Leave. Now, what is we doing? What is it that we doing? Because that's it. I don't know. Okay, but is, <laughs> you know, what is, we doing? is there a way to make it stop, you think? <laughs> Break yeah. up. The way to stop it, Um, I heard somebody say, come up. What they say? They need to come. Every week, they need to sit down. And uh, talk about what they like about each other and what they don't like about each other. And that's going to stop the nigga from telling you what the fuck we doing here? Why yeah. we together? You could be like, 
bitch, because of that plan. You don't remember that plan we just had yesterday? <laughs> Nigga, that's why we finna finish this plan that we talked about yesterday. So yeah. we're together to finish the plan. He wanted to know if in case he forgot from yesterday. We made this plan. You, you didn't forget. Finished. Well, then. I would say, because you love me and I love you. Well, it's only been a month. But I, I say I month. love you after a month. Lying already. <laughs> nah, you could be in love. You could be, but if he asking, what are we doing already? That nigga yeah, not in love. Facts. Why are we even together? That's a question you asked like, way down the line. Yeah. Like, fuck, we done been together for three years and we arguing. The fuck we doing here? I'm, I'd rather hear that early than late. <laughs> This, if a nigga said, why are we even together? Then a nigga I'm with five years? Yeah, I like, why are we even together? Nigga, you don't know after five years? I know, nigga. You don't know why we together after five years? <laughs> I'd rather early on, like, him ask, like, well, shit, why are we? I'd rather figure this shit out early. Hmm. Then invest it out my heart on the time I can't get Do you get really want to figure things out with somebody who's like, why are we even the fuck together? No. Man. Or only a lost person asking that question. He don't know what the fuck he doing. Man, that's a fact. A lost person. Hey, yeah. It may that may be what it is. And that's what it is. We'll blame it on them. So he don't he don't know what he wants. <laughs> it's the want. nigga fault. I like okay. that. Okay. It might be both of them. <laughs> look, 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 look. Man, you it's a human being. <laughs> And they can say whatever they, they want. want. And they can do whatever they want. That's it. Don't you know that? <laughs> Ain't no control in these motherfuckers. They got other shit out here trying to control us. They doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I think that's the end of the questions. I think we're going to go ahead and get up out of here. But before we do, let everybody know your social media and where to find you at. Uh, look at racing on YouTube. And look at racing on Instagram, and that's all. Look at racing. Look out. <laughs> yeah, you don't give up that Facebook. Yeah, don't be looking on my Facebook. I, I don't think we friends on Facebook. We ain't. Uh-uh. I don't really be saying nothing on my he, Facebook. He, really he go live at the uh, uh, the track. track. That's it. Showing the drone. Nothing on uh, Facebook. I don't know why I need to switch that up. Probably. <laughs> No, just keep doing what you're doing. That, uh, that ain't your, that ain't your thing. I used to like it until people start doing too much talk. Like you put something, they just it. They, I had too many people with negative comments. I deleted them now, but they done messed up my little mold a little bit. I need to fix my mold. Your mold? My mold. Oh, okay, got you. Yeah, they messed up my. I was on put anything, do anything, say anything. Both. <laughs> Both of them. Both of them. Yeah. All right. So y'all don't know where to find us at. Um, you can find me at who that underscore breezy B R E E Z Y. There you go. Um, Hear You Podcast on all social media platforms. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, hit us up at hearypodcast at gmail.com. And where can they find you at? You guys can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Tana Taught You. That's T A N N A H Taught You. All right, bro. This was fun. It was. This was fun. I, I, I like podcasts. <laughs> you add it to your resume? Yeah. A podcast. I'm doing there. podcast, drone, <laughs> pilot, editing. I, yeah. Add it to your card. Yeah, yeah I'm going to add that to the card. Okay. It's lit. Well, thank you so much for uh, coming and stopping by and talking with us for a minute and acting like somebody popo. We appreciate you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> As always, shout out to everybody. We had fun and we'll talk to y'all niggas next week. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>